green machine of Matt Cummings for McPhillips Racing, Rich McPhillips Jr. You all have been practicing your rocketry down here in Florida here lately. Yeah, we're struggling a little bit. Car's shaking. Uh, Matt's having to pedal it and the thing's going sky on him. We're, we're looking now on uh, the pedal function so it can retard some timing to try to try to stop it, but it's uh, we're, we're beating it up pretty good. With the Baby Gators and what just happened in Q1 for the Gator Nationals, they're sending in on a moonshot in essence. What is happening in these cars in particular that causes that? Uh, basically it goes out. This one, they're shaking a little farther out. Matt pedals it. It's a little bit, it's not a slow pedal, but it's not a quick whack. And uh, for some reason it's not retarding the timing when he lifts off, so it's still going full timing and it just goes one to one on the clutch and goes sky high, picking the front end up. They finished number two in the world last year, but as you can see, 2024 is the vengeance tour for the Killer Bees. Provisional number one qualifier right now, Sean Bellamere. That's a good shot right out of the box. Yeah, that was fun. You know, we didn't test at all. We didn't run the Baby Gators, so that was kind of our Q1 test one of the year, and uh, the goal was to pick right back up where we left off from Pomona. Um, Steve didn't, he told me, he said, we're not gonna change anything but the way the car looks. So uh, it went right out, went right on down the racetrack. It was awesome, great fun to drive. It's uh, almost forgot how fast these things are. So I felt behind it the whole way, but uh, it was good. It, it, everything worked right. The boys are back and uh, uh, we're flowing and we're having fun and uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully carry some momentum the rest of the way this weekend. Sean, the number one is not on any car this year, though that number one hot rod is still out in competition. The Gordons, Bellamere's, it's been a rivalry for a while. They both are red cars. I cannot wait to do a Dave McClellan impersonation saying the battle of the big red cars. It's going to be fun. And, and Doug and I have been talking all winter long. I've even been jawing back and forth with Matty a little bit. So, um, you know, it makes me feel old because now I've raced against two generations of Gordon. But... It, it's awesome, and, and Maddie's doing a great job in the car, and you knew she would, and it's as fast as it always is. You knew it would, and so uh, people who think that car, that Gordon car is not going to be a player, it is absolutely going to be a player, and it's uh, they still got the target on their back. We're all shooting for them. The 55th running of the Gator Nationals is fired up and well underway here at Gainesville Raceway. Hello, I'm Lee Kraft with this top alcohol report brought to you by Ocala Trailer. Dot com. The alcohol cars were the last categories to hit the track this Thursday at Gainesville Raceway. And the first car down the track, Joe Maynard piloting the Samsels Racing Dragster, went to the top and stayed on top. He is your provisional number one qualifier for the Dragsters at a 522 elapsed time. The eliminations that remain for the Baby Gators, that is the semifinals and the finals for both Dragsters and Funny Cars, they will be contested Friday in qualifying for the Gator Nationals. These top alcohol reports brought to you by Ocala Trailer. Dot com. From easy loaders to utility trailers, enclosed trailers, toy haulers, and more, if you are looking for the right trailer in Central Florida and beyond, you will find that right trailer at OcalaTrailer.com.